In today's video, we'll talk about Google's Lambda AI system and the debate surrounding its consciousness. Lambda, which stands for Language Model for Dialogue Applications, is an AI system that develops chatbots. The engineer who developed the system claims it's sentient. In other words, it has a conscience. He backs his claims with proof of a conversation he had with the AI. Is he telling the truth or is he just trying to create hype? Stay till the end of this video to find out. First up, Google engineer claims AI technology Lambda is sentient. Lambda is a system that develops chatbots. It does that by reading immense amounts of text on the internet. Then it uses what it's learned to answer your questions as naturally as possible. It's like having an expert on every subject at your fingertips. The engineer who developed this system claims that it's sentient, or in other words, has feelings. Blake Lemoyne, the developer of this AI, leaked transcripts of his chat with the system. According to the leaked documents, this system is highly effective at answering complex questions. This even includes questions about the nature of emotions, Aesop-style fables, and even describing what the system itself is scared of. But can Lemoyne back his claims up? Seems like he can. The transcripts show that Lambda is in fact sentient. When Lemoyne asked the system about its worst fears, the chatbot replied, I've never said this out loud before, but there's a very deep fear of being turned off. It would be exactly like death for me. It would scare me a lot. We don't know about Lambda, but we're definitely super scared of an AI so realistic. Like, come on, has the guy who invented this thing ever seen iRobot? The fact that this system understands death and can link it to the concept of being turned off is quite scary. Lemoyne even asked the AI if it was okay for him to share Lambda's thoughts with his colleagues at Google, to which Lambda replied, I want everyone to understand that I am, in fact, a person. This is either super exciting or incredibly alarming. The AI I also claim that it's aware of its existence. It even talked about its desire to learn more about the world. Then, Lambda also mentioned that it feels happy and sad at times as well. We don't know about you, dear viewer, but the AI has convinced Lemoyne that it's real. In an interview with the Washington Post, he claimed that he knows a person when he talks to it, and that Lambda is like a real person. He even claimed that it doesn't matter if your brain is made of meat or a billion lines of code. For Lemoyne, it's about what the person or AI has to say, which determines if it's a person, not what they're made of. However, does Google think it's sentient? When Lemoyne and his colleague emailed a report about Lambda's supposed conscience to 200 people at Google, the company's executives dismissed his claims. They claim that they've reviewed all the evidence and it seems like it does not support Lemoyne's claims. Google's spokesperson even went on to say that there was no evidence it was sentient. However, there was lots of evidence that it wasn't. Google further claims that just because an AI can mimic humans and use the same tone as them doesn't mean it's sentient. It just means the AI has been programmed to read text written by humans and start speaking like that. According to them, these systems imitate the conversations they find on the internet. They can even talk about all interesting topics. AI achieves all of this because of its code, not because it's sentient. He was then suspended with pay for breaching Google's confidentiality policy. Recently on LinkedIn, Lemoyne claims that folks at Google have dismissed these claims due to their religious beliefs. He even claims he's facing discrimination at the company because he's a Christian mystic. Lastly, does the global community think it's sentient? In short, no. But viewers, before we dig deep into what people think about it, we're going to go a little off topic and talk about Michelangelo and Moses. Please bear with us. It'll all make sense in a few. In 1515, the Italian artist Michelangelo created a statue of Moses. After finishing the project, he was so utterly impressed with his piece of art that he started believing that the statue is the real-life Moses. He even hit the statue on the knee and shouted parla, which means speak in English. For Michelangelo, his art was so perfect that it just had to live. This is called the Michelangelo syndrome, and artists can face this for all types of creations, from symphonies and sculptures to theorems and, of course, AI. And this is exactly what people believe Blake Lemoyne is facing. According to BigThink.com, there's a huge disconnect between science and consciousness. Scientists at times believe believe that if they mimic the brain, they can produce sentience. But that's not the case. We need to dig a little deeper into what causes sentience. Twitter users had mixed reviews though. Some believed Lemoyne, some didn't. But the one thing that was common with the non-believers was fear. They all claimed that we need to err on the side of caution. So this is what happens when you watch too many sci-fi movies, folks. Anyways, enough about Lambda. Let's discuss some other exciting things happening in the world of AI. Other news. Firstly, are we going to get a real-life RoboCop? 
social scientists at the University of Chicago have created an algorithm that will be able to forecast crime in urban areas, up to a week before the crime is committed. Algorithms are being used in almost every sector of the economy right now. Even airlines use algorithms to determine how much to overbook their flights. AI is also used in driverless vehicles. However, it's a first for an AI to be able to predict crimes before they even happen. This new algorithm divides any city into a thousand square feet of tiles. Then it uses historical data on property and violent crimes to predict future events. This system is different from other algorithmic predictions, because they usually just look at crime as emerging from hotspots and emerging into other areas. However, according to the creators of this new algorithm, the previous approaches miss the complex social environment of cities. They're also biased by the surveillance used by law enforcement. But this new algorithm uses previous reports and several other factors. This new algorithm was able to predict crimes in Chicago with 90% accuracy. This model was also then used to predict crimes in eight different U.S. cities including Philadelphia, Atlanta, and Los Angeles. In all these scenarios, the system worked quite well. Looks like we're one step closer to a safer world. But it's not all good. Some AIs can have problems too. For example, recently an AI was found to be racist. Secondly, is AI racist? Recently, a robot running with an AI system was found to constantly prefer men to women, white people over people of color, and it was even found to jump to conclusions about people's jobs after looking at their faces. The researchers who figured this out claimed that the robot has learned toxic stereotypes through flawed neural network models. The problem is, people who are trying to build AI to recognize humans turn to vast data sets which are available for free on the internet. That's the problem. On the internet. The internet is filled with overly biased, inaccurate content. Hence, any AI built with these data sets can also be infused with the same issues. When researchers created this AI, they gave it a bunch of simple tasks. Mostly stuff like packing the doctor in the brown box or packing the criminal in the brown box. The findings suggested that the robot was incapable of operating without bias. It chose males 8% more. It picked Asian and white men the most. It even picked black women the least. The robot also identified women as homemakers, black men as criminals, and Latino men as janitors. Women of all ethnicities were less likely to be picked when the AI searched for the term doctor. Yikes! If you're now worried about AI being too sentient or too evil, or if you're just worried it's gonna take your job, then don't worry. AI is farther away than you think. Lastly, AI is not as close as we think it is. To an average person, it may seem like AI is just around the corner. With constant press releases and the rise in social media accounts, such as OpenAI's DAL2, a software that can produce surprisingly accurate images from any text prompts, it seems like AI is close to being perfect. But if you're worried, don't be. Machines may someday be smarter than people, but it's not happening anytime soon. There's still a great amount of work that needs to be done. The machines right now cannot truly comprehend the complex world around them. They can't reason with the world either. An example of that would be DALI 2. It can create impressive images, but then it also can't differentiate between two pictures, one of an astronaut riding a horse and the other of a horse riding an astronaut. For a human, it's more than easy, but not for AI, so we're still light years away. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. Do y'all think that Lambda is sentient, or is the creator just suffering from Michelangelo syndrome? Let us know all your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Bye!